Hi, this is Paul from SecureStack. Today we're gonna to show you how to uh, add the SecureStack platform into GitHub as a action. And before we do that, the first thing we have to set up are two um, what are called GitHub secrets. These are so the action can talk to SecureStack. What we're looking at here is a um, repository in GitHub. Uh, we've already set up an app inside of the SecureStack platform, which you can get to at app.securestack.com. But this is a Java app that you can see here. We just added it, and so it's currently scanning. What we want to do is we want to grab the top uh, application ID. This is the uh, essentially the primary key that allows us to track a specific application um, in our platform. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on Settings for the repository. We'll, sc we'll scroll down to, um, on the left side, uh, secrets and then actions and then we'll create a new repository secret. Go ahead and drop that value in there and go ahead and name this secure stack app ID. So secure stack underscore app underscore ID. Go ahead and save that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the API key for the user that's running this in the secure stack platform and we need to add a um, credential for them too as well. And the way you get that is you go to the secure stack web UI and you click profiles in the left um, drawer and you create a new API key. You can see that I'm doing it here. Go ahead and grab the contents of that key. Go back over to GitHub and we're going to create a new uh, secret. Uh, drop that value into the field and then we're going to call this secure stack underscore API underscore key. So the first one was secure stack underscore app underscore ID and this one is API underscore key. Now that both of those are created, you've got the necessary credentials to be able to run uh, the secure stack action. Let's go ahead and um, get that set up. Now, first and foremost, secure stack um, runs as a GitHub action, which is the built in CI CD automation within the GitHub platform. This allows you to automate uh, tests and other functions. We've got, you can search the GitHub Marketplace for SecureStack and you'll see that we have four actions right now. This one right here is the new Log4j vulnerability analysis scan that we've got. Um, go ahead and copy the contents of that middle frame there. And then you go over and you create, add your own um, action. Name this something specific. In this case, I'm gonna call this um, the Log4j scan. Go ahead and grab all the data that's in that field. Replace that with what you just copied in our action. Go ahead and commit this change. You can name it anything you want to in that title there. Let's go ahead and commit. Uh, give it a name, the commit ID, sorry, the commit message. Save that, and now that's in place. And because that's actually changed the code base, that's actually gonna kick off an action. So if we go up and click on action, you actually see there's our new action, right? And you'll see it's running. And if we drill into that particular workflow, You'll see that it's still in process. There's the log4j scanning. It looks, it looks like it didn't find anything. Great, that's awesome. So it's all green. If you click on actions, you'll see the overview, all green. That's how you set up an action in the SecureStack platform. Thank you so much. Uh, feel free to reach out to us at hello at securestack.com. Cheers.